This is the iPhone 16 Pro, and these are three 16 Pro cases from Tiny Owl, who are the sponsor of today's video. Thank you. We're going to take a look at all three colors today, but we'll start off with what they call almost black. The packaging for all three cases is simple and minimal. At the top of the box you have the Tiny Owl logo, with an outline of the case itself. And the front of the box is an assortment of letters from the brand name Tiny Owl. Let's take a look. So this is the color almost black for the iPhone 16 Pro. Flipping it over, you can see that the inside of the case is lined with microfiber, which just adds a protective layer between your phone and the case and helps to prevent any scratching. I really appreciate the attention to detail inside of the case. It calls out certain features of the case, like the round action button, the strong magnets, and the grippy sides, all of which we'll take a look at in a second. In the bottom they share that this is a stone textured minimalist case designed by Tiny Owl for the iPhone 16 Pro. This is fun attention to detail that most people won't see, but you can appreciate. Now let's do what you came to see and get the phone in the case. So here's a look at the Natural 16 Pro in the almost black case by Tiny Owl. One of the first things you'll notice is that this case is minimalist and simple. The only branding on the case is this tiny little owl down here at the bottom. The feel of the case is a stone texture, which feels great and looks great. It easily avoids fingerprints and smudges and feels comfortable to hold. If I had to compare this case, I would say that it feels similar to a Kajabi sheath. Looking on the left side is one of the standout features of this case, which is this rounded action button. Because of the unique shape and feel, it's super easy to know exactly what button you're pressing regardless of if you're right-handed or left-handed. And since I can use camera control to open my camera, I found that I've been using my action button now primarily to open my flashlight. So having a button like this that has a unique feel makes it super easy for me to open my flashlight in the dark. Around the case, all the buttons feel good and clicky. None of them are mushy or hard to push. On the right side, you'll notice that there's a camera control cutout instead of a covered button. If I'm being totally honest, I haven't found that I'm using the camera control button in the way that Apple's intended it to be. I've mostly just been using it as a double click to open up the camera real quick. So really, having a cutout doesn't bother me that much, as long as it's comfortable, which this one is. Taking a look at the bottom of the case, the cutouts are precise, and there's a good amount of space for your charging cables. Before I forget, I do want to show you the grippy dots on each side of the case. On the right side, they sit just below the camera control button, and on the other side, below the volume buttons. It's pretty subtle, and it does a really good job at giving you extra grip when you're holding onto the case. Taking a look around the camera, you can see that there's good protection for your lenses. And I do like that this ring is a similar texture to the case, which is a little bit of a rubbery feel. And looking at the front, you'll notice that with a screen protector, there's still a good amount of lip there that's going to help keep your screen off of flat surfaces. As far as MagSafe go, Tiny Owl says that they made sure their magnets are really strong. So let's test that out. And yeah, I can confirm this is quite a strong MagSafe magnet. I don't think you'll have concerns with this falling off of anything like a car MagSafe mount. Now if I had to choose anything that I would hope changes in the future, it would be the way that the case fits in the edges here. It's honestly not that bad, I'm probably just being super picky, but I want to point it out. Alright, let's take a look at the two other colors offered by Tiny Owl. First, we're going to have to change the scenery. So for these next two, we're not going to go over all the features, I'll just show you what they look like out of the box and on the phone. So this is going to be the color Stone, which is one of two lighter colors that Tiny Owl offers. The inside of the case has the same color microfiber as the almost black case. So probably safe to say that the microfiber in the last case will be the same, but we'll take a look. So here's a look at the color stone on the phone. It's kind of an off-white stone look. With this color, you'll probably have an easier time seeing the texture that I was talking about, which is comfortable in the hand and kind of a stone feel, similar to the Kajabi sheaf. Here's a look at the left side, the right side, and the bottom of the case. And just giving you a closer look here at the textured bumps on the sides. All right, so that's the color stone on the iPhone 16 Pro in natural. And last up is what Tiny Owl calls dusty lilac. So I had a hunch and I was right. The microfiber lining on each of the cases is the same color. And now here's a look at dusty lilac on the iPhone 16 Pro in natural. As I'm sure you can tell, it's a pretty subtle purple. And here's a look at it next to the stone case, just so you can get an idea of what the difference might be next to each other. Now here's a closer look at the right side of the case the left side of the case, as well as the bottom. Again, all these buttons are super clicky and responsive, and you have that unique action button, which lets you find it super easily. Now before we wrap this up, let's take a look at all the three colors next to each other. Dusty Lilac, Almost Black, and Stone. If you'd like to grab any of these cases, last I checked, they sell for under 20 bucks, which is an awesome deal, especially for the quality of case you're getting. I'll leave links in the description so you can check them out for yourself. I appreciate you spending time with me, and I hope to see you again.